Entrance Antiphon. God is in his holy place, God who unites those who dwell in his house. He himself gives might and strength to his people. Good morning. Good morning. Today's Mass intentions are for the parishioners of St. Francis Xavier and for the special intention of Father Tien, whose birthday is today. Now let us begin with the Mass reflecting on the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You will send to you the cross to our heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinner, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who walk in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant us with you as our ruler and guide. We may use the good thing that has in such a way as you hold fast even now to those that it ever is true. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. <coughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in the land, they know not. If you cast Judah off completely, is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not. Disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us and break it not. Among the nation's idols, is there any that gives rain? Or can the mere heavens send showers? Is not you alone, O Lord, our God, to whom we look? You alone have done all these things. Word of the Lord. <laughs> Responsorial Psalm For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Let the prisoner's sign come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciple approached him and said, I explained to us the parable of the wheat in the field. He said in reply, He who sowed good seed is the Son of Man, the field is the world. The good seed is the children of the kingdom. The weak are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sow them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvester are angels. Just as we are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age, the Son of Man will send his angels and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause order to sin and all evil doers. They will throw them into the furious furnace, where there will be wavering and creeping of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. In our daily life, we may often think that everything should be okay if we do good work, work hard, and be nice to everyone. It should be also the illusion in our gospel today. But the reality, according to Jesus, is that our life and our world are always filled with the good one and the evil, life and death joys and sorrow, that which we want and that which we don't want to live side by side. The wheat and the wheat stand together in our world and in our life. But then, what should we do to the wheat? Surely, we should do something, but not according to Jesus, as he said, let them grow together until the harvest. That make no sense for us. How can we let them grow as the bad people still live in the world? The wheat are bad, but the wheat is good. We must do something. We need to take a step, draw a line in the sand, and establish some boundary. But then Jesus showed more interest in growth than extermination. He is willing to wait and to be patient. If we are his followers, we too will have to wait and be patient among the weak in our life. Forgive the weak, love the weak. Yes, God asks us to forgive them, to love them. Maybe that shows how the weak begin to disentangle its roots from the weak and show itself to be weak but not him. Maybe love and forgiveness are what lie in the midst field of God's kingdom and in this world to be like. Uniting our voice together this one, let us lift our prayers to God. For the church, as it for the church, as it carries forth its mission to build God's kingdom, may Christ the sower guide His holy work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For all of our elected officials, may God bring them a new awareness of their responsibilities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For those who suffer from hunger and thirst. May God's mercy and compassion show forth through the generosity of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, 
for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconates in our archdiocese. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we bring our prayers before you and we ask that you hear and answer them in your great mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now we will say the prayer for protection and healing from the coronavirus and also our family prayer. Lord Jesus, you travel through towns and villages, hearing every disease and illness. Come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus, may they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Protect our those nurses and healthy and professionals as they help the sick. Guide the surgeons to develop a vaccine. Be with the leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act to concern for their people. Save by our side at this time of uncertainty, anxiety, and sorrow. Grant us your peace. We pray this in your own holy and For you are our loving and healing Lord, Our Lady of Brown Sucker, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier, St. Rock, and St. Joseph. Pray for us. Amen. Now our family prayer. Loving and faithful God, who the years the people of our hearts eyes, have appreciated the prayers and love of Our Lady of Brown Sucker in times of war and disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Father, with Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle of today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community founded on the values of Jesus, which gives respect to the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may call their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be peacemakers of our lives. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our Lady of Brown Sucker, patient to help us. Mother Henrietta Julio, pray for us that we may be a holy family. Blessed are you, Lord God, O patient, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and book of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, O creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and fruit of human hands, it will become our spiritual spring. <clears throat> Praise my brother and sister, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offering which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, this most sacred mystery may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal sadness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. This is usually right and trust, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when we were justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. 
Through thee the angels praise your majesty, your minions and law and power and all before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed star of him, worship together with each foundation. May our voices we pray join with it in humble praise as we are praying. Holy, 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 Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. My holy name for these did we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, where suffers were ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave this to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and bring from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the dear and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate in the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have kept us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessings Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph was found with the blessed Apostle and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through me and with me, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor these souls forever and ever. As a sailor of man and for my divine wisdom, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save for all Israel, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your children. And graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God.
We hope the land of the we hope he will take away the sins of the world. Bless his idol who calls the supper of the land. All I am not worthy to teach them under my roof, but only say the word that my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all of his benefits. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us the love beyond all telling may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So in peace, the best is ended. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness that stand from the devil. May God give you every humble prayer and do those offerings of the heavenly hosts by the power of God, as it's in our state, and all the evil spirits.